you spend your whole life avoiding germs, not biting your nails, avoiding door handles, and most importantly, washing your hands. But do you ever go out of your way to clean the things that touch your face daily? I'm talking about the stuff in your makeup bag. So I took some products uh, over to the John Jay College of Criminal Justice in Manhattan to have them tested for bacteria. And uh, spoiler alert, they found it. That's what they found. Uh, they found dots? <laughs> That's bacteria. <laughs> Dr. Nathan Lentz and his grad assist, Laura, helped me pick some items Sorry. out to test. <laughs> Good? Good. Yes. So when I got to the lab, Dr. Nathan Lentz and Laura helped me pick out some items to test. So we have our items picked out and we're going to label them and see which one has the most bacteria and then take it from there. So to start, we will have an eyeliner and then some cream blush, a foundation brush, two tubes of mascara, and a liquid eyeliner, a concealer click pen. All right, see how it goes. So next, small samples were taken from each item. What I want you to do is take a small section out of it and dip it right into the culture. So after all the samples were ready, they were spread onto separate Petri dishes. What happens as I spread them around, is they're gonna settle onto that gelatin surface. And any bacteria that land just right will set up a colony and they'll grow and grow and grow and reproduce. So the dishes went into an incubator for a few days where the bacteria was able to grow. Out of all of the items tested, the three worst were the pencil eyeliner and two mascaras. I think the general rule would be anything that's liquid based would be a more would be more likely to have a hospitable environment for bacteria to grow and flourish. Now that we had the top three offenders, they were sent away to another lab for DNA sequencing. It collects all the data and it basically tells you what strain or bacteria you have, you know, growing. So once the results were in, I headed back to the John Jay lab where we were able to discuss the results. And the most common bacteria found was... I don't even know if I could list three bacteria, so I can't guess. Was Staphylococcus epidermidis, which is one of the most common skin bacteria, nothing harmful about it. As intimidating as it sounds, that was actually good news. This type of bacteria is normal on the skin. We had some tips for you. So toss your mascara and liquid liners every four to six months. And brushes, you wanna wash them once a month or so with either warm water and soap or just solution. And powder items, you have some leeway. Two years. What about the bag itself? That bag looks. Um, <laughs> well, I'm uh, just saying. How was that from high school? <laughs> what, uh, how long do you have that? Well, the you know, well, the fa foundation stains the bag, but I'm kind of crazy with it, and I do Clorox that. I'm a big believer in my own body's immunity yeah. system and germs as a springboard for it to build <laughs> new defenses. So, in the name of all of our collective health. I think it's time for us to all help ourselves to Allison's makeup bag. What's the dirty one, the eyeliner? Let's this was the dirtiest. Work Actually, it out. I feel like you know what, it was clean before. How about that? Now she's got to throw it away. <laughs> no, More paint. No, now she, now come here, let me rub some off on your forehead. All right, next. Oh, yeah, look at that. Everybody's got it. Healthier by the dozen. <laughs>